bar, right? Okay, so uh, looking at the uh, HTML code itself, you can see here the header file would need to have this all the way down, including the wrapper to the navigations. It probably ends right there. So we want all of this into the header.php file. Okay, so let's just open our corresponding file. So in the stalkers file, the first thing you should change is, well, let's just change the sub package name. It's not stalkers anymore. This is our practice theme. Okay. And then uh, let us look at the information step by step. Actually, the first thing I should uh, talk about is this PHP tag. So uh, WordPress is, um, I guess you can say WordPress is run on PHP. And so anytime uh, there is PHP script coding, they are all enclosed within this funny little bracket sign. So it's like the open uh, angle bracket question mark starting with PHP and it ends with a question mark and the closing angle tag. Okay. So anytime you see PHP coding or anything relating to WordPress, they all must be included within this tag group. Okay, so after that, you can see we just have the normal doc type declaration, which is the same as what we have in our um, .html file. And then after that, we have HTML tag, the head tag, and then we have this meta tag containing the content information, uh, the basic stuff, and then we have title. So in this side, we have a text-based title. And in our template, you can see that we are having PHP coding so uh, with WordPress functions. And what this does is to automatically put in the right title within the title tag. And then after that, we have um, links to a bunch of things like style sheets and uh, pingbacks, which is the same as what we have here, except that ours is like static. And where stairs is, they are pulling it based on the uh, information we uh, previously defined in the um, blog information section. Okay, and then after that, we have this um, if is singular, blah, 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 put in this um, script. So this is just something to put in a script for uh, comments, reply uh, features. And so we just ignore that. And then lastly, very important, inside the head section of all uh, WordPress themes templates, it must contain this function, which is uh, WP head. And this is what WordPress need in order to load in all the header information. Okay, so make sure this is always within in your file. And then after that, we close the head tag. And so you can see compared to this and that, literally um, everything has been covered within the um, Starker's template, so we don't need to touch anything. Okay, let's move on to the body section. So we have body, and we have body, and then after that we have an h1 tag with uh, this is actually uh, giving you the the H1 information of the site name, etc. And so you can see that um, in our template here, we are missing the wrapper, the wrap, and the header, the IVs. So let us grab that copy and then paste it here. Paste. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of alignment to get this looking a little bit nicer. Okay. Should probably do that. All right. So you can see here that uh, we've added the wrap ID, uh, DIV, and we added the header DIV. And then after that, we have H1. In our H1 tag, we have ID with the ID of logo text. So in our template, we need to add that back in. ID is equal to logo text. Okay. And then we have the A ref. Uh, href and then this is um, a script to get the URL for the home page which is what we have here in desktop.html that's fine and then we have um, the name of our site title which um, you we grab using a, another function from WordPress the blog info name of the site and then close h1 tag that's fine and then after that we have this this slogan description 
which in this case is the same thing as the blog information description. That's fine. But the P tag needs to have the additional ID of slogan. Oops. Okay. Slogan, slogan, closing P tag. It's okay. So after we close the P tag, we have this top menu item. So this top menu item, if you go back to the site, refers to this little box. RSS fees, contacts, and login. Okay, so um, we need to add that into our um, header.php file. So let's, the easiest way is just to grab this whole thing, including this ending header section. Grab this thing, copy it, and then paste it here. Paste. Okay, so I'm just going to align it back properly again. That's better. So now these are static links, whereas those um, will change depending on what page they are in, correct? And so in order to make it to be dynamic, we use some ja um, we use some PHP, sorry, not JavaScript. So under this uh, RSS feed, we want to have it as a URL that points to the uh, 2.0 RSS feed. So the, in order to have use WordPress functions, we need to start off with the opening PHP tag. And then we also need to close the PHP tag afterwards, right? And then we need to type in the um, WordPress function name. This is called blog info open bracket, it's got RSS2 for RSS2.0 URL. Okay, and then we need to put a semicolon to finish it off, and we close the PHP tag. So that part's done. And the next part is we have a contact link. Well, most contact information on a WordPress site is normally located in the about page. So I'm just going to assume that. So I'm going to change this from contact to about. And then in the link section, change this to about. Oops. OK. And then after that, we have a login or logout link. So um, a good nice thing with WordPress is it has a ton of built-in functions. So if you anytime you think of things that need to, to be dynamically generated, chances are WordPress already has a function built in for that. In this case, uh, what the WordPress function in order for us to have a built uh, like a login logout link is just called um, WordPress uh, WP underscore login out. And again, because this is a function, we need to put in the opening close brackets and then finish up with semicolon and then close the PHP tag. And we are done with this section. So um, let's just save that and load uh, and load it in our this guy into our WordPress homepage to see what it looks like. Okay, that looks much better. So you can see that we've added in our header banner with um, and the name, the title of a blog, and then the tagline or the slogan. And then we have um, placed in this upper um, nav link section with a um, link to the RSS feed to the about page and then to log in or log out and you can see right here right now that um, because we're logged in um, it will give us a logout link and if we are logged out it will get us a login link.